20 inch so here. 20. Right? Yeah, go to 20, which would be way skip. down here. There it is. Right. There's your 20. Okay. There's your 6 inches. That's, that's what 6 we inches. Did. So that's what you came to right here. Yes. Okay. So that is that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's it. Like that. Okay. Okay.
goddamn Barney on film. Well, it's only time he's gonna get on. You know, uh, so this has come up about uh, preserving your plywood and so forth like that. When you put the splash rails on this boat, you go over and you leave, leave a channel on the inner splash and the outer splash. You leave a channel on above it. You want to have that all the way back. Turn on when you put the rail on. The reason why is you're going to mix sawdust and glue together and fill that gap so water's not going to get into the layers of your plywood. And don't tell me that that stuff is it dries out and you leave it out in the open. It's going to take water somewhere. And you're going to ruin those sides, but when you put the glue and sawdust in that gap, uh, then this way is a half inch high, you're saving your boat for a long time. And you don't worry about it on the bottom, because you're going to cover the whole bottom with it, so it's not going to save the sun. We need to save all that sawdust. Yeah. See right here? Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. I got to make that over here. Slate that red stuff, boy, that's good. The red stuff is good. This is the outside. Yes, sir. First thing is when we cut these sides, we want to cut them on the end cut on the second You want to get everybody's attention? Hey, Rick. We're gonna we're gonna lay this transom out. He's gonna tell us how to lay this transom. Okay, come on over. Okay. Just uh, let me get, let me get. put one of the put that root up there like we're going to cut the sides. Wait a minute. Remember, wait a minute. Just about a half inch more than uh, what the what the that 16 inches. Right. Well, that's about, that's about. We got. A, well, it's still the same all the way to the stern. Okay. The width. Yes, yes sir. The yes. height. Yes, sir. Okay. You just lay it down here. Just put you that little mark there on. On top of it, just and let, take that uh, square there and let it just draw it a little bit in this way. Where we're going to no it's on the side. Like okay. this? No, no, no. Put it around on the side. I'm where we are, okay. Put it up there. How 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 high is that piece of wood? Sixteen inches. Sixteen inches. Okay, then just put you a little mark there. Okay. Okay. You put that on it like that. Just draw that line just a little way. Not, okay, that's good. Take it off. Now, we say we're going to cut that straight across, but usually I don't cut my sterns that way. I'll come up here and put a little hoop in them in the back and so forth. But what, what I'm trying to tell you is, Will, you know what I'm trying to say about the glue and uh, on the stern and everything? The, the angle, that's what, that's what we got to cut our angle at is up to that point. We don't want to cut way up here. We want to cut up in the 16th. That's why he drew that, yeah. But you're talking about the, the angle of the cut that uh, we're Well, that's going to be a seven degree cut. That's for whenever your book comes down the side of the boat. It comes down and it bows in. You're going to have a seven degree cut on that right there. That, that comes out good and so forth. But, uh, but we got to have a metal square. Okay, what is a belt? Adjustable square. And what does it measure? Angles. In other words, this is going to have to be cut too because your stern sits in the boat this way. You have to cut an angle there. And that angle is determined by that end right down there. And we got to have that before we can cut that across the bottom. Now, I. I, I, don't we put the mahogany on before we put those, cut those angles? No. You cut that, you cut the mahogany over there on the table saw, and then you put them together. Okay. Okay. You cut the seven degree here, you cut the mahogany over there on the table, and you put them together. Seven, seven. Let me say something while everybody's gathered here. 
You know that you, you know what a guardrail is? Oh, yeah. Where does the guardrail go? From top. Top. Yeah. Top, right. top of the side of the boat, all the way to the back. You put that guardrail, whenever you put it on there, you make a, leave a, put it high enough where it is a half inch at least higher than the side of the boat. And then you put your inner guardrail on the same height, and you got a gap there about half an inch. You can have it three quarters of an inch if you want to. It, what you to fill that up with, save your sawdust and use your epoxy glue and you smear that stuff down right down the side of it and you your boat is protected from dry rot or anything else from leaving it outside and water getting down in. Okay. Yeah, but on your cut on the side. We're, we're, you don't it's do green. It the you, right. do the, you, you could do yes. the same right. thing across the stern if you want to by if you've already got the thing cut, you can still put trim up there. Or you can put a roll of glass, I mean, cloth of glass over the top of it. But you want to protect those uh, layers that you can see of plywood, especially anything that looks up at the sun, because sooner or later, the sun's going to go to work on it. Salt water gets on it, it starts bending and everything else. But if you do what I'm saying about the sides, half inch, the guardrail half inch at least, higher than that side on the top. And on the inside, do the same thing. And you pour that glass and sawdust in there. You don't want it, you want it to be a little bit runny, but a lot of sawdust in there to hold it. And I'm gonna guarantee your boat will last twice as long as if you, unless if you leave it open, open face to it. Anywhere that- What's the first step in cutting first this step is We need to clean all this glue off of it, off of it with the belt sander. Is Somewhere we're going to cut it off and cut it down. Next on both sides. Then the next step is we got to have a center line on it on both sides. We want a center line to work from. And you work from the center line out. You want to put a seven degree groove on it with the, with the back being the shut, the back of the boat being the where that's. Yeah, we, we got to close that. Yeah. The reason for it is you don't want to. Uh, we, we were talking about bevel square. How do you how do you determine your angle and set the saw? Okay, you got to have a bevel square, and that's going to give you this angle right here. You right. This angle right here. He's showing it to you back there. Look. Yeah, I understand that. Well, I understand you that. Put, then you take this angle and you put it on your skill saw. I understand that. And, and then somebody said there's here. no bevel square, right? Yeah, right. one last night. We need a bevel square. Put a piece of wood on the saw. Well, we. Uh, well, the seven degrees is the big one. You can cut it. But, so the seven. Well, if you use the seven degrees each time, you can use the You don't use seven degrees on the bottom. Okay, so you go around, you reset the saw. You cut your okay. gear. We got it. We got it. We got to get this thing around. Okay. And put on the steel side. How you going to get? I like to get the next steel side heavy enough there. We got to have this angle right here. Right. 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 So that angle, that angle needs to go on the on the skill side. And for the seven degrees, we just make you seven degrees. Right, we can do a seven degree over there. All right. We have to make the board over there at seven degree. And Hey boy, hey boy, you don't have to do that. You, you don't, don't have, have to do that line. Because we're going to okay. cut that. It's got to, we're going to cut that. That's top? Okay. Just on the dead. Dead. Well, we have to We've got to figure what's the back and what's the inside we back. we got to figure which is top and which is bottom. This is the inside of the boat. This is going to be the inside. This will okay, be the, this good. Be the, 
Remember, just leave it. Since that's going to be the inside wheel, we'll. This is going to be the inside wheel. Okay, lean it back because that's the way it's going to be. It's 70 degrees back on there. So you can see what we have across the back there. And uh, you want to seal every place that's like right there. You want to seal that with something. And the best way to do it. And like on the side of the boat, you put a, uh, your rails up a little higher so that you can fill the gap in between it with glue and sawdust. And uh, you don't want to mix the sawdust okay. and glue real tight. You know, you know, I think we're going to work on this platform to, to do all that. Do what? I think you're going to use this uh, jig to do your cutting room? Well, that's the only saw horse we got. Why don't we take this off and get it out of the way? Just clear that off so we can work in there. <coughs> Hey, Will. Oh, wait a minute. It's already it's it's already it's already it's You decided not to cut this. Okay. Well, this is it right here. Okay, we cool. put that on the saw. You, you just put this. Well, it's 15. Okay, well, that's what's got to be on the, uh, on the cut across the bottom. So, this can come off, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You want to. Just set it off. Come off or just get over to one side a little bit more. No. Where do you want your mark at the bottom or the top? And then the seven. Oh, you want the seven? Well, we got to get that width across the back of the transfer. Well, we're not really going to cut this too much. You pretty well got to wait now. Right? Yeah, we're going we're to wait. We're going to cut the bottom and we're going to cut the sides. And then we're going to. And then we're going to cut the frame it. The frame it. And then we'll determine where, you know, we, we start cutting up the, the, uh, the top. Right. But we're going to measure up. Once we, uh, once we cut this bottom, uh, we'll measure up 16 inches. And, and that's where we're going to run our angle from. Once we once we cut this, uh, right. This is just a note. Right, 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 right. So what, what we'll probably do once we get this, we'll just come in here and bring this across right here. Uh, so do you want to trim this up right now? We want to trim that up. We can do that on the table saw. Uh, yeah, that'd be the best. So we can do that. We, huh? we can do that. We want this angle on the, uh, on the, on the blade. On the blade. Did you say true it up? Did you say true it up or did you say the angle? You talk well, about angle. Well, we can do both. Then it true it up and angle at the it's same time. It's not true? Well, I'm talking, no, it's yeah. not. See this bump here? All you do is just slide the blade right along it, see, and take that. This, this is the bottom. That's not true right now because the plywood's off and feel it. You just take the blade and skim it, and that okay, trues it up. Using, what are you putting to put up against the fence? This here? Yeah, that'll go against the fence, and we trim that. We just sand it that down. That's pretty good. That's true. That's that should be. He ran the. He didn't run the sand off. No, that's not that's true. true. See, you don't have the straight edge. Yeah, I, I thought he had the sand okay. on it. Okay. Uh, I know you can true it, by But what we can do is just put a. Uh, we, we we'll put a straight turn, edge. We, we, well, we can turn right. it around. We can make this be the top. You can Cause it, Because this is true, and we run this up against fence. We just need to take the belt and the glue off right there. That's right. I see what you're saying. Because I thought he, when he was sanding, that he sanded it. This is truer than that other. Right. This, this well, is it true just enough. needs a little dressing up. Right. Give it a little dressing. Give it a little dressing right here. A light dressing with the, with the bandsaw. Well, that's on the other side. Uh, ranch, I want ranch on mine, John Henry. I'll just just dress it a little bit. You got a good working position there? I recommend you got the... Yeah, but Rich going to get mad at me if I don't put the glasses on. Oh, good working position going on now.
No, that's how we're doing this song. It's getting cut off. We're, 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 we're going to make this tomorrow. Okay. Bottom or top? Huh? This one he just dressed. We're going to make this side be the top. Which is inside. inside. This, that's our side. So that's getting yeah. cut off. This is going to get cut off. That's, that's the top. That's, no, we, we changed it. We're going to change it. Because we can't run this up against fence. It's not true. The other side's true, and we can run it up against the fence. Okay. okay. We can flip so it. this is the bottom. Man. This is going to be the bottom. Now. You want that saw on 15 degrees? You ready to cut it? I want it 10 degrees. We could try this. You take a light cut on your best edge, and then you flip it over and take a light cut again, and then take another little light cut, and you're both they're both strange to me when you do that. Put this thing in the down. Let me worry. Let's flip it up and put this so that yeah, just hold it right there. That fence is going to have to be on the right. <laughs> This is just this much perfect. But that's the direction. We you want to just write the uh, inside the outside. here or outside there? Yeah, then we'll, everybody will know what's what. Put inside, just write it on Look, there. Where we got it, it right there here. There it is, up there. Yeah. Outside. Well, i got to get that top off. Get that off. That's no longer the top. Right. We can figure it back in there. What do we get? I'm going to bring some gum erasers. Yeah. Good. Is, is this supposed to be built for a 15 or a 20? 15. 16. Well, it's 16. Okay. So 15 or 16. It ain't well, 20. No, we didn't have a gun. 16. I hang anything with things to do with transfer house. Oh, transfer house. Oh, okay. So we're building it for a 15 or a 20 inch motor. Oh. You have to have to use that. Yeah, you're right. That's right. Well, it ain't got anything to do with the road. Yeah. Yeah. Just enough to come through. That, uh, we'll have to put the fence up on this side. Here. Is that right there? Yeah. According to the way he ha Will has it laid out. Yeah. Fence's got to go over here. Fence has got to go on this side. That thing's too tight, man. That needs to adjust it out. That, uh, yeah, it's that, I like it tight. You want yeah, it tight. Me too. I don't like it tight. You're going to bend the shit out of it before it's over. Right down this way? Down here? He's got his mark on that. Look at the bottom. He's got his mark right here. All right, well, he's going to not like that, though. You want to push it up, Bring it up a little bit. Bring it up a little bit. All right, let's go over. We'll let the board step flip over. Exactly like that. That's right. There you go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Now we're going to be. Now we're going to set your mark. All right. All right. Uh, come in, come in, come in. Oh, oh. Yeah, come in, just, it don't matter. Doesn't we got, we, we got plenty of boards. Okay. And Time there now. All right, nail down. We're in a bad place. Oh, what? We like to hold it out. Somebody have to stand there and hold it. We got it. It'll be all right. You take your hand and ride right there. Yeah. Keep it steady on there. Ready? Ready? Fire and hold. Got to warm up. It's got to warm. Hang on, hang on, stick. Uh, let's see. Make sure it's not up against. Yeah. It. It's green. It's not let me park your pencil just for a second. There goes another one. There goes another one. <laughs> I just you got that push. Rick. 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 I, put it Rick. I want my angle back that way. Okay. Does that thing got to be blinking? 
No. It's ready. No. It's ready. Okay, we're going. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Charlie. Check, Charlie. Check, go. Did you deal with uh, smoking? How oh, about a half a dozen? Okay. Yeah. You see that number up there? Uh huh. Is this the one? Well, not good. Yeah, we I know. In our way, we don't build a smoking way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just hate to see y'all arguing over there all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah. it had to be done, Doyle, because nobody could agree. It had to be done. Did what? It didn't have to argue, but nobody was sitting down either like they should have done. Well, I'll tell you what. And talk about it. Well, they were, they had their saw in their hand. Go do it they had their saw in their hand fixing to go. Who was? Well, a couple of them. Well, tell me that. And Well, I will. And so somebody else said, what are you doing? Well, we're cutting it. Well, where are you cutting it at? Well, what are we doing? What are we building? That's the... What are we building? <laughs> You know, that's what I said. So it moves an argument. I know it starts going on there and so forth. This is not for that. But I tell you one thing, if it's this game, we can't get in here and work as a group or whatever it takes yeah. to get organized. They can cut our my ass gone too. Yeah. But when I go, we'll go too. Yeah. I mean, we both live at the same place and stuff like that. But Will, Will has had something to do with that 61 boat. All Absolutely. 61 of them up there. But, no, I don't think anybody was arguing with Will. And if he tells you something, he pretty well knows what he's doing because I, yeah. I don't do anything. He does most of the labor, you know, the work that yeah. has to be done. And, and there's no and substitute he, I would for say He is not, Will is not. Uh, a guy who knows how to read. The problem is reading things uh -huh. and so forth like that. But when he gets up in his head, he's right about the building parts of it. Yeah. He's been there and done that and everything else. Yeah. And uh, sometimes he can't explain it just exactly right. the way he wants to do it. But he can damn yeah. sure show you. Well, I don't, nobody's got a problem with the will. Cause I'm going to I'm gonna he, listen to the guy that's got experience. He has plenty of damn experience and he wouldn't be talking about it there and we've talked yeah. about boat building for years so we did it out there at uh, Mayfield's uh, trailer park we started out there yeah. and that's how many but we've built 61 well, see, you know here goes something that uh, drives me crazy is to start doing something and not even knowing what the plan is and that's what I saw a while ago and it wasn't well it wasn't well so, look, he's always explaining something that he's going to yeah. explain it to you. And he wouldn't be saying it if he didn't know what he was That is correct. Well, we'll, 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 we'll talk to you better. I'm good. I'm just good getting reversed. Hey, uh, he has a very problem. And he also mm -hmm. has a... Just a Look at what he's explaining now. But once he gets it, he's hell on water, boy. He yeah. knows what he's doing. I don't have any problem understanding him either. He, he explains it pretty good. He tries to. If you got so. two or three people talking at the same time, yeah. you know, it's out the window. Too many Indians. And, well, that's, the Indian chiefs is not enough well, Indians. It's early in the game. Don't give up. It's early. I'm going to talk to some people. Well, this shit can't go on. You can't, you know. It's unnecessary, too. Well, but, uh, I know what to do. <laughs> he needs to. I know what to do. <laughs> I'll talk yeah, to him. That's really his job, you know. Too. It is. Put teams out and so forth. You got to have one captain on every boat. Every captain has one boat and a mate. Every boat has one captain. I wonder why that is. Okay, what's the first step, Will? First step. I just want to get this on camera. I want, to, I want to come from this line. I want to come 23 inches. From the center line. Burn, burn an inch. Burn yeah. an inch. Burn, yeah. burn, 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 burn an inch. Yeah, yeah that, All right. that'll now take go, us. Now go 24 inches. Uh, 24 is 23. 23. Okay. Do the same thing, turn it around. 
burn an inch. Put put it on the put it on the side. Yeah. And now, all right, now we're at 24. 24? Yes. 24. Done. Okay. Measure up from the bottom up to 16 inches. No, from the bottom. From the bottom up. Up 16 inches. Right on the edge. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on the edge. We got the 16. Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. No, no, what, uh, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on a second. But that's okay. It's 16. Okay. Uh, it's a little late. Uh, it's a for a second. Let's see what we. We're going to make. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're at five foot. We're not five foot. We're uh, uh, fifty-nine and, uh, and seven eighths. So. Uh, Let's say 59 inches. What's half of 59? We got 20, uh, 29 and a half. 29 and a half. You've got pencil. 29 and a half. Yeah. This is all going to get. 
difficult on how you're going to cut the transom when you get to here, whether it's going to be 20 or, or 15 inch transom. Uh, we'll put you in charge there. That's as bad as putting your crotch in. Can you tell one of your boats by looking at the shape of the stern yeah, of the transom? No, I, I used to build a lot of them, you know, it depended on what kind of engine they were going to put on it that determined right. it. Some I just, you know, if I didn't know, I just put a flag on it. And, uh, sometimes we even had to block them up or take a little bit more off of them. Uh -huh. And that don't tell me that every boat needs it. If it has a propeller down here and it's all supposed to be the same, every brand's different. And I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. Best thing you know, if you know what engine's going on it, you take that engine and measure that. Come up and in. I don't know how many times oh, really we've much. had to go in there and put a cheater block on it to bring it up where the engine sit, where the one was flaked down at the bottom was at the right place. Because you didn't have the engine on on the spot when you built the stern. Right. Yeah. You know, I always wanted to know what engine you use and where it is, your engine, and what. Even different models of of Evan route. But if they were built maybe 10 years apart and somebody has this old engine, you go over there and measure them, you'd be surprised they're not all the same. Yeah. There can be as much as half to three eighths, three quarters of an inch out. I believe that. You know, I learned a lot from at the school. The boat had to be in there. Boat wheel was like, I learned a lot about how different, different things are so different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you learn that by doing that. Hey, you want to power in there, boy? Yes, sir. Pretty radical, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's where you can take a little creative license with your transom design on this. Yes, sir. That's the signature. That's going to be a pretty curve, huh? Yeah. I'd, I'd make them a little bit more curly. I got it. Okay, I just want to put a light one to. I got it. Just a look. Oh, that looks pretty. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. It's a little. It's a little fancy That's for a work nice. boat, though. See what's in there. Paint bucket. Oh, what? Leave that paint bucket. That's how we do it. You got to get a height. You didn't want a French curve, huh? <laughs> I want an apogee and a perigee on that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, we need. That way I know where to start from. Uh, three and five. Three and five eighths. Hey, Rick. No. Would you uh, look at the camera and say what day three it is? And, whoop, I'm sorry. Strong three and five. I don't know. February the 9th. Fly day. It's, fly it's day. February the 9th, 2012.